Hi, I'm Nigel from Power Mobility. Today we're going to run through charging batteries, whether it be for a new power chair or a new scooter. So always need to remember that new batteries must be fully charged before you actually use the power chair or scooter. In the first couple of weeks, say 10 to 12 days of operating your new power chair or scooter, the battery shouldn't discharge the batteries below 30%. So don't put them under excessive load, do light trips, ensure that you're charging them after every use, just to make sure that you get the maximum amount of life out of your batteries. Charging your batteries should be done every night. Um, it's a good habit to get into, to plug it in, flick it on at the wall before you go to bed, and then turn it off when you get up in the morning. With the new battery charges, you can't actually overcharge your batteries in a short period of time, um, but you can certainly undercharge them. Avoid depleting your batteries completely or to 80, below 80% of their actual life. This will um, lessen the, the, the life of the battery and also mean that you could run the risk of actually being caught without enough charge to get home. The other thing to remember is always use the correct battery charger. With any power chair or scooter, it will always come with a battery charger that's designed specifically for those batteries. If you're using other battery chargers, it can actually damage the batteries or it can damage the charger. When charging, they're all fairly similar. Three pin plug into the charge port, whether it be in the hand control or the base of the scooter. Plug it into the wall and then turn the power on. Don't turn the power on first, it can cause arcing in through the hand control. So there's just a few tips for actually charging your chair. If you'd like any more information, you can drop into the showroom in Jibung or have a look on our website at powermobility.com.au.